hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how easily you can install this text to image generation tool defocus on windows locally all free and private and with a lot of ease this software defocus is a fork or a alternate or variation of this amazing tool called as focus which i already have covered on the channel the first episode which I did on focus was around 11 months ago and just recently last month I did an updated version of installation of focus software locally on windows so if you're looking to install focus then I would highly suggest that you go through this focus video which I did as I said last month it is updated and I'm more than sure that you will enjoy a lot but for the purpose of this video we are going to install this defocus on our local system if you don't know what defocus and focus is it is simply one of the easiest way to generate images from text and images of very high quality so much so that the images rival mid journey and stable diffusion defocus is a rethinking of stable diffusion and mid journey designs and this software is offline open source and totally free and totally private one of the hallmark of this defocus is that it generates very high quality images even with average prompts because if you have played around with stable diffusion and mid journey you have to give a lot of focus and attention to your prompts but for this one you don't really need to be um, a real english guru to come up with uh, prompts you can simply type uh, just a decent sort of or average prompt and you should be able to get a high quality image okay enough talk now let's go and install this defocus also i would highly um, grateful to you if you kindly subscribe to the channel and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you so much and i'm not going to push you more so uh, i'm more than sure that you will do the favor by subscribing now the gpu card which i'm using for this uh, system on my local windows system is 28 ng with 24 gb of vram but even if you have 4 gb of vram you should be able to install it and for the ram i am using 32 gb of ram on this system but you can easily go with 8 to 16 gb of ram on your system now of course if you are using low vram on your gpu it will be very slow so i would highly suggest that at least try to use 16 gb of vram and 32 gb of ram to get a decent amount of uh, performance uh, uh, grunt out of this try it out on cpu but i don't think so you will get anywhere near um, the quality and the speed of a gpu and if you're working in ai i think gpu is sort of a necessary evil okay enough said now in order to download this defocus all you need to do is to go to this defocus github repo or website i will drop the link in video description once you are here go to the download section just scroll down and you will see this download section then simply click on this uh, link with where it says click here to download and it is going to start downloading a zip file as you can see on the top right it is downloading defocus on my local system and it is 1.4 gb so almost there and it will be in the 7-zip format now 7-zip is another free software which you can get from their website website is 7-zip.org or you can simply google it and then download it according to your operating system these days almost all windows system are 64 bit so just click on this first link and that should download it on your local system then do next 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 and with 7-zip will be installed meanwhile you see that my defocus has been downloaded this is the defocus one now uh, just keep it there for a moment let's go to my desktop and i'll just going to create a new directory i'm just going to call it uh, my defocus you can call it anything you like and then i am going to click on the bottom left just type cmd here and that is going to open this command prompt now here let's go to that directory which i have just created my defocus and clear the screen with cls now here 
make sure that you have get installed or if you don't that is fine i'll show you another way so go back to the website of defocus here and then click on this green button you will see that it will give you this link either copy this or you could simply just download the zip file and then unzip it in that my defocus directory which i have just created so i like to do it as a gateway so i'm just going to go here and i'll just say get clone and then give that path which i have just copied but as i said you don't need git clone if you are just downloading the zip download it unzip it in this my defocus directory and of course if you are using this git clone way you would need to install git first for that you can just simply google uh, git on windows and again it's an exe file you can just click and next next and it will be installed so let me clone it that shouldn't take too long and that is all done so if i go here my defocus you will see that i we have this defocus directory here now sorry so this is a defocus just leave it as is go back to your downloads directory where we have downloaded the defocus win64 portable just write uh, just cop, uh, copy or cut it from here come back here where you have just git cloned it and then simply Control v or paste it here in the defocus directory and then right click and then extract here it is going to extract all the contents in this directory so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a couple of minutes it's a big directory i think as you remember two to three gigs so make sure that you have around i would say maybe five gig of space on your local hard drive let's wait for it to finish and everything is done now it's extracted all good now in this same directory you should see some file called as run.bat now i would suggest that what you should do you should go here in your my defocus directory and then from here if you do dir you will see that there is a defocus directory just do defocus and then again cls just to clear the screen and then here just run this command run.bat and then dot slash run dot bat okay it says that it is unable to find uh, to find this directory so uh, this file which is a uh, entry with update dot dot by so just press enter here and then go back here you need to make sure that that file is there and this is a file it was talking about for some reason it didn't get copied from their github repo so i have just gone in and then uh, manually i have just downloaded that file from their github repo which i just showed you and i'll quickly take you there so if you go to this github repo it should be in this repo here so instead of going um, you know I, what i did i just deleted it the directory and i get cloned it again and this time now as you can see here sorry now we have this file so let's go back to the terminal and run that again so i'm going to run this from here again and you can see that it has it is starting it let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time it is loading all the models it is and there you go it has opened it in the browser so this is our defocus running eventually and now from here you can just give it any prompt maybe i'll just start with uh, bamboo tree with butterflies circling it click on generate let's wait for it to generate the image and you can see that i am using 24 gp of vram and the speed is slightly sluggish so you know that the more powerful gp you would have the more good it will be and look at the image it is diffusing the image from the latent space and it is creating the bamboo trees and the butterflies are circling it how good is that beautiful there you go so uh, because i said the butterfly so i think that is where it maybe i'll just say butterflies now let's see what it does let's try it again and i love the way it just diffuses the image while generation this is the one i'm talking about simply mind-blowing look at the bamboo trees and now you can see that as i fix the typo we have 
many butterflies here let's wait for it to finish generating shouldn't take too long now almost there there you go and look at the vividness the crispness of the image how good is that okay now let me try out few of the other prompts to see how it works so i'm asking it a breathtaking golden hour sunrise over a serene tranquil japanese garden with delicate pink cherry blossoms floating gently on a calm reflective pond surrounded by intricately carved weathered stone lanterns and winding moss covered pathways so let's see what it generates and look how beautiful this image is simply amazing and you see it's a golden hour sunrise and look at the sun just peeking through at the far end of these cherry blossom trees and look at this pond and how good is that and this um, Japanese sort of roof amazing amazing okay let's try out another one I'm saying a stunning 22 year old blonde girl with piercing sapphire eyes long curly hair and a bright radiant smile wearing a delicate silver necklace with tiny crystal pendant set against a soft warm background of a sunset over a tranquil rolling hills landscape and you can already see that it is following the prompt to the hilt let's wait for it to finish and look how realistic this one looks a real i mean this has been generated by ai amazing amazing stuff okay let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it a regal 35 year old african queen with intricate hand carved tribal marking on her cheeks and forehead adorned with ornate golden jewelry and a majestic feathered headdress uh, standing proudly amidst a vibrant colorful african sunset with acacia trees and savanna grasses swaying gently in the breeze let's wait for it to finish but you can already see the quality is simply out of this world look at that vividness this is simply sublime really really amazing Okay, let's try to see how good it can do a cyborg assassin i'm asking it a cyborg assassin crouched in a dark rain soaked alleyway with neon lights reflecting off their sleek metallic limbs and a cityscape glowing in the distance under a thick industrial style overpass with hissing steam powered pipes and flickering fluorescent lights let's wait and it has really followed it amazingly all the limbs metallic ones cityscape behind it and look at uh, the rain soaked alleyway can you imagine that and then also the reflections and you see the reflections are totally in line with the color of the lights amazing stuff beautiful okay next one i'm asking it a majestic hooded Indian cobra, its scales glistening in shades of dark brown and tan, rises majestically from the dusty golden sand of an ancient ruined temple. Its eyes gleam like polished obsidian and its body is tense, ready to strike as it surveys its surrounding with a fierce primordial intelligence. The warm golden light of a setting sun casts long shadows across a crumb crumbling stones and a few stray leaves rustle in the gentle breeze do we see leaves i don't see any leaves but the cobra remains still a symbol of power elegance and deadly precision but cobra is really i think cobra looks good maybe it would be open would be good but that is fine and at the behind it there is a uh, ruins of a temple great stuff now if you want to um, have some more control over the generation you can simply check this box advanced from here you can go with more quality i'm just going with speed at the moment so maybe i'll just select a quality now and even you can increase the speed and then there is a spec ratio but i'm just going to go with a default and then there are a few other things that you can mention like negative prompt like if you it is constantly generating um, demorphed images or limbs then you can put it here and image number you increase like whatever you like but it will increase the speed time of course okay now another thing which you can do maybe i'll just go with advanced and quality and then for the in you can even give an input image here i haven't tried it yet so let's try it out i'm just going to click here okay i don't have any maybe let me search any image here so i have just selected an image of i think the all-time 
comedian charlie chaplin awesome uh, you know character and then i'm just giving it an enemy sort of look like a brooding 17 year old high school student with a spiky jet black hair and piercing emerald green eyes wearing a worn black leather jacket and torn jeans standing alone on a rainy tokyo street at dusk his intense gaze reflecting a deep inner turmoil so i'm not sure how this works but let's see let's check it out okay i think it is just trying to reflect this charlie's image on this one and this is a quality one you see there are 45 steps so uh, even though with the speed one the quality was awesome but look at this one almost there do you see how good is that look at the quality of the image amazing stuff next up i'm just trying that if it knows about the um, popular figure like the movie character so i'm asking it bollywood indian hero shahrukh khan who is quite famous so let's see you can get some glimpses of the actual shahrukh khan here let's see if it is able to draw him or not let's wait for it well very very slight re resemblance i would say but it's interesting as you can see that it is quite interesting so that's it guys and one more thing i wanted to inform you that this is totally nsfw like not safe for work you can create any images even the explicit one by using this software so be aware that you use it responsibly there are no guardrails no barriers so you can generate any image you like in any way um so yeah so be uh, careful there but other than that i believe amazing amazing tool play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching